this is my voice, guys. It's very nasally. You have to listen to it. Well, I have to live with it, okay? Um, I feel like sometimes my voice makes me sound like I have no personality. I'm like, trust me, I'm multiple. <laughs> I feel like it kind of sounds like it's like a female character voiced by a male actor. <laughs> like, you've seen me in Bob's Burgers. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Who got COVID? Who, hell yeah. Okay, cool, hell. Who wants it? All right. I had it last year. Did you all have it bad? Yeah. It was bad. Were you in the hospitals? No. Okay, I was, so fuck you guys. I, um, I'm just kidding. But I had it bad. I was shitting blood, um, which I think only I find funny. And I, I was like, oh, it's just another fluid. Uh, but that, so I go, I had to get a colonoscopy, and I didn't know what that was. <laughs> when they take a camera and they shove it up your butt. Um, and I was like, that sounds like what would cause the problem to begin with. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised that after the procedure, the doctor's like, hey, we just did your colonoscopy. Turns out there was a whole other camera up there the whole time. <laughs> That's what was going on. You guys are young. I'm older than you. Uh, I'm hopefully halfway dead. <laughs> the way things are going. It's a joke. It's fine. I, um... But I just, it's like, I don't like, I feel like people don't respect, they like, you know, you guys are young looking, people are rude to you because you look young or whatever. It's like, come on, I have like the soul of a 67 year old war, but I like where those originals, respect me. Um, I just too, I had the other night, I'm like, we don't, women know it's like men are creepy or whatever, and then not all of them, but so then there's this guy that comes up to me on the subway, he's like, oh, you're so young looking. I'm like, then you probably shouldn't be talking to me, bitch. Like, what are, you, what are we doing? Um, don't like walking alone at night. Not my favorite thing to do. You guys have eyes. I'm very rapeable. I, um, and I, so I'm walking. I am. That's just, these are the facts. And if you could probably do it if you want, so please don't. I, uh, so then I go, so I go, <laughs> this is just telling you what it is. And so I go, I'm walking right to my car or whatever. And this dude, these three guys start following me. So that's scary, right? So I jump in my car and I lock the door. And then this one guy is like, hey, you know, uh, we just wanted to talk. I'm like, bro, how stupid do you think I am <laughs> to pass up an opportunity like that? <laughs> like, get in here, come on, let's go. We're all gonna hang out at Denny's. Let's fucking do this. Uh, that'll be fun. People give, are we, who's single? Clap if you're single. Woo! All right, yeah, so I feel people give fucking terrible advice to single women. They're like, oh, if a guy's bothering you, just say you have a boyfriend. I'm like, I want to be respected, you know? If a guy's bothering me, I'm just like, I have a penis. <laughs> I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Dump six out of my backpack. I'm the Jeffrey Dahmer of women. What's going on? So dating, we have single people, we have people who are dating. Uh, I moved here last year with my boyfriend, and then he left me to go live in a van. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I, I told my friends, I was like, he's gonna go live in a van. They were like, a van, he'll be back. <laughs> and I was like, no, you don't understand. I was like, the van is nice. <laughs> it's really fucking nice. Uh, I don't, he's gone. He never came back. I, uh, but I should have known. I feel dumb, because we were quarantined together in this apartment, right? And one night, He's like talking to me. He's like, oh, you know what I realized, Espy, is I love you like my mom. <gasps> yeah, I know. I fucking know. I was like, why would you tell me that? Are you kidding me? I did. Oh, oh. Why would you say that? And I felt even worse because we were friends before we started dating, you know? And I was like, I saw what kind of women he liked before me. I'm like, they're all bigger than me. I'm like, oh, his mom has a better chance with him than I do. <laughs> I was like, that's probably what's happening. Um... <laughs> I wish though, I feel like, I'm like, I, it's okay being single now, I guess, but I wish somebody was around to be like, hey, maybe don't do that dumb thing, you know? Like, cause I feel like he left, the moment he left, I'm cleaning my apartment, I put in a clean new garbage bag. You guys know, that's a good feel. Am I the only person who likes that? No, okay, I guess it's just me. There's one girl in the back, give it up for that lady. But I put in my clean garbage bag, I go to my fridge and there's like a rotting peach in there and I'm like, oh, I can't ruin the garbage bag. Why would I do that? So I take it and I walk out in the hallway and then there's like this roach infested like garbage can out there and I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. So what do I do with this peach is I take it and I flush it down my toilet. <laughs> Dude, immediately it got clogged. <laughs> and immediately I had to poop, right? So then I ended up taking a dump in the garbage bag. I didn't want to get dirty. And then I had to bring that to the fucking roach infested trash. I'm like, ah! I need it, ah, oh, ah. But I think the only, there was a benefit to this is like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know how to give an abortion now. Cause I had to take a wire hanger and like get it out.
out of the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, let me know if you need one. I, um, <laughs> I could show you guys a picture of the peach for a dollar. I might own nine grand to the government, but that's another story. Um, let's see what else is going on. We're probably, we're pro-choice, right? Yes, yes, okay. I don't, you ever see those pro-life videos where it's like a person, they're like, oh, I'm here, I'm pro-life because I could have been aborted, but my mother didn't abort me, but she could have, and we're like, okay, yeah, we kind of wish she did, though. <laughs> like, you won't fucking shut up about it, Jesus. Could we abort you now? Is that possible? There's so many people I would like to abort right now. Um, not you guys. You guys are great. What else do I want to talk about? Therapy? Are we in therapy? Yes, losers. Um, kidding. Not, not losers. I'm in therapy myself. I need it. I, uh, I, dude, but I, I feel like therapists are only in it for the sweet gossip. I feel like, what's the tea? Um, I just, but I feel, I got mad at my therapist because a couple weeks ago he was like, oh, you should do more things that bring you joy. And I'm an addict, all right? Like, I'm sober now, but I'm just like, like, none of you guys are going to see me joyful. <laughs> like, the most amount of joy I've ever experienced was funneling vodka into my asshole. <laughs> It was tight, uh, literally, metaphorically. <laughs> Loosen up, Jesus. All right, I, um, what else? Yeah, I really, I am an alcoholic. I've been sober for almost six years. Never went to AA. Oh, thanks. I should relapse tonight. Get me that vodka back there. Let's go, let's do this. I uh, never went to AA, so who's really the best at being anonymous? <laughs> me, I am. I also had this thought, I was like, man, if I were an employer, I'd only hire addicts, because they don't quit. <laughs> they can't, that's bad if you think about it. Um, I quit smoking cigarettes recently, which is good, yeah. Also quit smoking cigarettes off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that's bad for you? You can get diseases from that. I, mean, I wish, I just wish I lived in the 1940s and smoking cigarettes was good for you. <laughs> Doctors just handing them out to people. Um, I do, we, we smoke, yes, I smell it in here. Uh, I'm not a cop. I, uh, I'm not going to narc on you guys. I, did, I smoke weed, so I stopped drinking because I'm like a violent person, right? So I'd like drink and get into fights. I know, I'm tiny. And then I would lose. I wouldn't win these things. And so then I would drink and get into fights. But then I'm like, oh, smoking's fine, because I would just get really into architecture. <laughs> you know? I'm just like, my friends would be like, yo, let's go party. I'm like, let's watch these non-moving videos. <laughs> and they're like, non-moving video, that's a photograph. Get your life together. Um, what else, what else? Oh, but I think I'm like genetically bad at smoking weed, you know? Like some people can smoke a fuck ton of weed. That's not natural. I did, but my brother called me a couple of weeks ago, and he's like, he's like, oh, SB, I think I smoke weed and I go blind. And I'm like, that's never happened to anyone in the history of weed ever. <laughs> you know, I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, oh wait, maybe I don't go blind. Maybe I just forget to open my eyes. <laughs> I was like, come on, you're letting us down. Oh, uh, what else? Dating. I'm bad at dating really bad at it. I think it's because I dated a drug addict for too long. Is anyone doing this? Stop now. Um, I feel like a mom. I'm like, don't do it. Uh, but I just, but I feel I dated a drug addict for too long. It's hard to date drug addicts because you could be like, I love you. And they're like, where am I? <laughs> I don't know. I dated this guy and he, I should have known something was wrong with him because he was like, he lived in this awful apartment, and it was like roach infested to the max, all right? It was so gross, I know. And I would stay in there, and then I remember it was like, I would bring dental floss and leave it in the bathroom, and it was just weird because I couldn't find the floss. It just turned out that all the roaches were hanging themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, save yourself. <laughs> and that's what called PETA. Uh, what else is going on with me? Um, drug addict, no, who's on their period? Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah, you guys are proud of it. Good, not pregnant, that's dope. Um, yeah, so I just, I, but it annoys me when people are like, oh, be subtle about your period, you know? Like, people told me that, and it's like, why would I, a dude wouldn't be subtle at all, you know? Like, I took totally picture a grown man in the hallway just like slinging around and using tampon. <laughs> he was like, so proud how much blood you lose this week. <laughs> oh, 30 milliliters, that's some pussy shit, bro. <laughs> Using these magnum tampons. <laughs> um, I'm 
trying to be eco-friendly, you know, I, uh, I uh, you know, like I eat vegan, I recycle, and I reuse my tampons. <laughs> Just ring them out and shove them back in. Right. Um, what else? If you guys liked me, please follow me at espionage921. That would be awesome on Instagram. Get your phones out, do it. Um, I need the followers. But yeah, thank you so much for having me. Give it up for the yeah.